Right, we are back with more mortal shells, and today we're going to be taking on the enshrined sanctum, which is the slow part here, uh, and this will lead to the final boss of this area. This long route that I'm taking here, it's the shortcut way back, but you can get some items right now, so let's go. And there's a shield guy here, if you guys have some... Uh, Resolve, you can actually break the shield. I don't know what happened there. He whacked me with a shield while I was in uh, the hardened form and it just flew off. I don't know if that's like a thing that's supposed to happen. This is my first time witnessing it, so yeah. Um, anyways, you go down here. It, this area can be a little bit confusing at first. It's kind of like Falgrim, but it's not as confusing as Falgrim, I think, because fucking Falgram has so many like tunnels you can take and stuff and that is just a drag to me if you guys don't have any resolve you just have to fight him like all the normal enemies but I don't think this guy's shield can break like um the guys from the previous area at least it doesn't look like it can break so after he does his combos you can get a few shots in and then back away I don't know what that is, it's like a part of a shield that was on me. Alright, and right here, it's some useless shit. <laughs> I mean, I guess the token can, can be useful. Um, watch out for these guys. If you don't have Teal's uh, shell, these guys can poison you with a head throw. But if you kill them before they rip off the head you can prevent that from happening this wraith right here will just keep pulling up that ice the ice wall and you won't be able to progress yeah you back off a little bit and then like it'll get rid the the wraith will get rid of the ice wall and as soon as you get close um it'll pull up the ice wall again i think you can bypass that if you have the blister zooka but i don't know i haven't tested that that theory out yet so yeah, but I feel like it should be able to work. You know, you just blast that freaking wraith in the face, and after you kill it, it won't be able to pull up any more ice walls. Right here on the left side is one of these guys. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay. I thought he actually hit me there, but he did not. And we'll get some glimpse here, and also an inscription. These are lords for mortal shells if you guys um are interested in the lore of this game you guys can check that out uh i don't think i'm gonna go around reading all of them but you know if you're playing along then you can check that out for yourself or find them around the area but i'm not gonna worry too much about that watch out for the second guy here I was trying to take care of the first guy as quickly as possible before the second guy got in. Which, you know, it kind of worked. I mean, I got hit once. Glimpse, and now we have some resolve. So we can spot or kick this guy, shatter his shield. And then after that, just combo the shit out of him, and he's, he's dead. Right here are some healing items, very useful. Uh, this room has three of those... Uh, spike poisoning head ripping dudes so you just run for the left side here and just stay to the left side kill that guy and need to get some stamina back alright let's oh shit he knocked me out of my shell I was planning to harden and just use that to heal but that ended stupidly. Alright, so that's how you take care of that room, kind of, sort of, except, you know, make sure you don't let the second guy knock you out of your shell. I should have dodged sideways to avoid that. Uh, this room right here has a weapon upgrade and also ambush on the side. If you just hug one side, left or right, up to you, the opposite side will have an enemy that will get triggered so we hug the left side the guy on the right got triggered take care of him make sure you don't walk into the room so otherwise you'll trigger all three of these guys so 
after we take care of that guy, go to the opposite side and pull the other guy. And now we got some more resolve to spot kick. And same deal. That's it for that guy. Right here, it's a weapon upgrade part for the Martha's um, greatsword. It's the icy greatsword that you can get in the beginning of this level. Watch out for this little ambush down the side here. Don't don't walk into don't walk into that little pit there. Spider kick this guy. So pretty much save your um, resolves for the shield guys to make the fights a lot easier. Uh, don't run straight down yet, so watch out for this guy right here. Because he will ambush you if you try to take on the big guy in the front. These big guys, um, kind of want to rush them down if possible and get a few combos in. If you see them like about to turn like that, harden so... You won't be able to get hit, and also when they hit you while they're while you're hardened, uh, the weapon or their attacks will bounce. So that's good. Watch out about be careful about rushing this guy because there's another guy directly behind him. And use him to top off my health. There you go. So that's a good and bad thing, I guess. Uh, there's another big guy right here that you can kind of rush down. For this guy, I'm just going to use my ult on him. Because he, he got up before we can really like rush him. You know? The moment we walk down, he's already like getting up. And you can use their corpse if it hasn't disappeared yet. You can whack it. These big dudes. You can whack it until you get some resolve back. I just need one bar. At least one bar. So, that's a neat little trick. It's kind of like Bloodborne before you kill them. Like, before they fully fall onto the ground in Bloodborne's case you can just keep hitting him and get some health back if you got hit don't go through well actually let's go through this little part here because um there's a big guy right here if you walk from the other path uh this guy will get triggered before you can get close to him and you won't be able to do your little combo thing so make sure you take out this guy first before you continue uh, and i'll show you the path that links to this little part just a moment here. Uh, walking up these stairs, there's gonna be a shield guy here. Sparta kick him. Take care of him. And this path right here will take you pretty much back up to the beginning. Right here, you wanna rush this wraith right here. Okay, because these things are really nasty. If they pull up the ice wall on you, uh, it'll freeze your character, and I don't know what they do. I think they just hit you once. Well, for this shell, for Teal shell, if they pull up an ice ball and you get hit by the ice, and then they punch you while you're like frozen, it instantly knocks you out of your shell. So like, it's an insta kill. So uh, I don't know, man. There's some nasty shit that they got going on with those wraiths. Uh, for this area at least, those those guys are nasty. Like the because the. The moment the ice wall hits you, if you're not hardened, it'll just freeze you and you can't do anything. And they just like, I, it feels like once you're frozen, when they hit you, it's a critical. So yeah, there's a little path right here to take. And I highly recommend you take this path because this will take you to uh, a weapon upgrade, like the overall weapon upgrades. And make sure this wraith is going away before you actually crawl through here. And then just wait for it to come back and rush them down. Alright, do not let them pull up the ice wall. If you if they do try to pull up the ice wall, you gotta make sure you are uh, hardened. Otherwise, it's game. Or maybe a, unless you're using another shell, then you'll be fine. But if you're following Teo shell, I think you're fucked. <laughs> unless it goes into uh, stamina damage. Take care of this guy. See, he pulls up the ice wall. They hit me. Look like he hit me, but I also hard. I don't know. But I'm just glad that it didn't do a follow up while I was frozen. 
there you go so that's how you take care of this part uh, for the second one you might want to harden faster <laughs> or if you have your weapon special so you can use that on them to play it more safe and this will lead you pretty much it's close to where we came in from you'll see and take care of this guy the head ripper guys just take care of them in this corner make sure you don't push them forward too much and you'll be fine hit this guy once get him to turn around and then kick the shield away and finish him oh his body just fell through and got some more glimpse this is the little tunnel that we went through here's some healing items And I highly re recommend you, like, try to remember the way back. Because, uh, once we grab the, the gland, you have to make your way all the way back. Like, you gotta walk past all this shit. And there are some nasty stuff. There's, like, a lot of ghouls, wraiths, and then there's also these big dudes. It's, the run back is pretty nasty, and the area is dark. Like, it's super dark. At least for me, it was like fucking. It was dark. <laughs> I mean, like the clan, I kind of act like, like, uh, your lantern, as much as possible, at least. Spider kick. And I think this is our last enemy for the area. Um, you should be home free after this guy. Trying to milk that resolve right there. Damn it, almost got the second one. Yeah, that should be the last guy. And down here is pretty much. Yep. Martyrs. Martyr. Martha. Martha's uh, altar. And that's the boss fight over there. You gotta drink the, the nectar. Some disgusting looking stuff. This one looks way more grand than the previous one. Do you feel them? The enshrined weight, watching the Immaculate for thousands of years. They will not stir until the Ascension. They wait for her to deliver them. Here, drink fully, warm your bones. Uh, we can't get any upgrades, so no points. Um, yeah, make sure you grab up this healing item right here. So that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this episode. And in the next episode, we will be taking on the boss itself and doing the run back as well. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Oops, out.